what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The search continues for possibly multiple shooters as gunfire rang out at the Houston Police Department Southeast Division Station on Sunday morning. Police say that they have set up a containment area. They are collecting evidence and the investigation is ongoing. They don't have any suspects. They said that bullets went over officers' heads. You see, there's only one little problem with that fam. They searched the area where they say the gunfire was coming from. And they haven't found one shell casing. They say they heard 50 to 60 shots, not five or six shots, 50 to 60 shots. Boom, 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 and not one shell casing. Could it have been firecrackers? You know that there are a number of reports around the country in the wake of the George Floyd murder and the protest that has ensued where people are saying that police officers are setting fires, vandalizing their own vehicles, and there was a precinct that was vandalized and burned. They're saying that police officers set that fire. Now, so what's really going on, fam? I'm just more inclined to believe that this is all game. I don't believe that there was a there were multiple active shooters and bullets flew over the police officers' heads. And they haven't found not one shell casing, not one suspect. They even put the helicopter out there on it. And they haven't found one suspect. I believe that a lot of these cops are creating this chaos, creating this violence, creating arson, vandalism, even looting, so that they can tell all of these people that's talking about defund the police, Hey, you need us. Because look, the criminals are going wow, They're going crazy. It's crazy. But really, the craziest thing that I've seen during all of this is the police beatings. Police becoming even more aggressive. That, to me, the police are scarier to me than the looters, than the vandals. And I'll tell you something, family. For anybody who want to slide up in here, and have something to say about the looting and the vandalism. If your criticism of the looting and the vandalism is louder and more passionate than your criticism of the cause, the reason why people are looting and vandalizing in the first place, the reason why people are protesting, if it's louder than your criticism of Derek Chauvin and the other uncivilized police officers who killed him, you have zero credibility, and I mean zero. And some of you, your criticism is louder for the vandals and the looting than it is for, hum for the loss of human life. I see you. I've read many of your comments. I've heard some of you talk in person, and that's all you got to say. Well, yeah, I just don't believe in the looting, man. I just don't believe. But did you say that about the shooting? 
Did you say that about the killing? You know what you said? Well, if you said anything, it's, well, what did he do? I mean, you know, that guy had a record. When you talk like that, I know you. I know you well. I know your M.O. Can't fool me. Can't fool me with the deflection. Some of you love to run interference. You don't care anything about human life unless it's yours and people that look like you. So I get it. But what you're not going to do is silence me. You're not going to get me to be silent so you can be comfortable. I don't believe that there was a shooting at 8300 Macau. I don't believe. I believe it was a hoax. I believe it's all to just get people in a panic and make them think they need the police more than they do. Defund the police. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.